Hey everybody and welcome to the shop. Today, gonna do something a little bit different. This is, well, an electric standing desk or electronic workbench. Now this guy's from Grizzly Industrial. I work for Grizzly, so most of my shopping for big ticket items is actually done in the as is section. Lots of good stuff to be found there. That's where I do most of my shopping. This little guy caught my attention because I just bought a new saw stop PCS saw and I love it. Uh, but my old Grizzly was a little bit different height. What am I actually gonna be doing with this? It's going to be my main outfeed table for my table saw. So I will preset a height for the outfeed side to catch whatever material I'm working on. I'll also set it to a workbench height like this. Anything in between really, and I'm gonna make it mobile. So I'm gonna remove the M8 thread pitched um, little adjustable feet that are in here. And I'll link to it here. I actually got some locking casters with a 450 pound rating off Amazon. Mount a maple top that actually used to be a drafting table that I had. And uh, that should be my main components. Then I think I'm gonna put together some drawer system to make it really, really practical and we're off and running. A few key little fun facts about it. It goes down to 22.8 inches from the ground. Um, then you add casters to that, obviously you're bumping that up. I believe it goes up to 48.8 inches high. So it's got a pretty good height adjustment. It has three stages you can preset it at or you can do it manually in between anywhere. Standard 110 power and a 275 pound rated capacity. Now that's not a ton compared to like a torsion box load capacity, but you know what, for what it is, I think that's gonna be perfect. A mobile workbench that just needs to catch my material or work on something like this. So 275 pounds, I can deal with that. So now let's go ahead and finish it. So why would you want a workbench set up like this? Well, as I mentioned before, it's a table saw outfeed setup. So having a perfectly height adjustable piece there to catch my work pieces on the outfeed side is perfect. Then I can set a taller height for smaller, you know, jewelry boxes I'm building or smaller cabinetry that I wanna have like toe kicks at a certain height. I can bring them all the way up to my chest essentially and work comfortably standing up instead of slouching over. But if, if I have a taller cabinet also, I can bring it down as you know 22 inches from the ground thereabouts. And it makes it super convenient to be able to work on something right at you know standing height. So it's not just like a desk for your office. It's also something that can be practical here in the shop. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. I mean, I also am just really cheap. And when I saw this thing, it was a great deal in the as is section. So I snapped it up. Awkward leaning pose. It's like my prom photo here. I've had the opportunity to run a couple projects and I have found myself using this table basically every day. I highly recommend having something like this if you, you know, got the space for it or just need the functionality. It's pretty rad. Uh, I will put a link to this in the description, but overall, it works great in my shop. And now it is time for a shameless plug for my YouTube channel by my biggest fan. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks. Whoa, look at you go.